Now, the design brief for Lady B was a fast, go-anywhere cruising yacht. That was essentially the brief. The ability to go anywhere in the world, uh, to be as reliable as possible, and to be as independent for as long as possible. That was very important to this particular client. The owners uh, were fundamental, uh, obviously, to this design, and they had a, a big influence. They'd seen our previous work. Uh, they wanted something, if possible, as sleek as, as we could make it, and uh, still have good accommodation, but low line, uh, attractive, and, and sailing really fast. Those were the pri priorities. So we started off with the um, with Antares as, as sort of the genesis of the idea, and then we stripped stripped all the unnecessary detail out of it and sort of did a, a modern interpretation of a traditional interior. It's been an absolute pleasure and continues to be a pleasure. Um, it's very rare to have uh, a client who is who is so informed and experienced uh, in what he does, and, and that enables him to be very concise and really to allow us to do the best job that we can. Lady B is a wolf in sheep's clothes. She's, um, she looks very timid and very uh, with beautiful lines, but, but next to that she's very performant. She has some hidden features like, uh, like her lifting keel which makes her extremely performant and also not only in speed but also very well uh, upwind performance, gives her good upwind performance. So these are items which uh, absolutely um, make her stand out from other yachts of her size and, and, uh, and class. We're lucky I think because we are designing something which actually no one needs. A, a, a yacht is probably on the bottom of the list of things anyone needs. And therefore, uh, they are doing it for pleasure. Uh, all our clients are building a boat and having me design it or our company design it for pleasure. And therefore, they want the relationship to be as, as pleasant as possible. He can communicate very well, uh, this owner. Uh, he's used to, he's an architect by training and, uh, and in practice. Uh, he's used to very big projects and he can read drawings very easily. It's natural to him. So, yes. Uh, he is one of the most understanding of owners that we've ever had, I, I would say. The main reason behind the owner's decision to build with Vitas was quality. I think also, to an extent, it was also location. Um, Europe was, a, was a, um, a familiar place for the owner and he comes to Europe regularly. And so I think that Europe was always a, a reason to build a boat. It bitters, but the main reason was, was quality. The main special feature, I think, of Lady B is that she has a lifting keel. That is to say, the whole of the ballast goes up and down on the keel. And we've not done that on a boat of this size yet before. The Bimini normally is just made of fabric and this is yeah, integrated, made from, from carbon fiber. And the whole boat, the way the superstructure is designed with all the, the, the natural waves and smooth lines in it. And it is a boat with uh, yeah, everything that a custom boat needs to have, like a stern door, nice big sliding doors that can open uh, in two positions. It's also a very special thing especially uh, for a boat like this. I would say there's, there's two 
features of, of Lady B, the most obvious one is the big curved wall that goes throughout the boat. Uh, and this, this leather wall is, it varies in height as it goes through the boat, um, but it's always got the same cladding and it's, it's sort of a, a, s a snaking rhythmic link which pulls all of the interior together. Um, the other unique thing to the boat, I, I, I think, which is something we try to get in all of our boats, is that we don't just concentrate on, on the grand scheme and, and sort of the, the big wow. 99% of our work is on the little details. So that's, that's the other special feature of the boat, but that's something that the Mr. and Mrs. Hines won't discover for, for a year or two. So far, the most impressive moment during this process was when Lady B came out of the shed. Because in the building shed, we could see the boat from on deck and from below, and but not completely from from the side. And when she came out of the, the out of the shed, and you could see the whole boat in profile, it was really, I have to say, it took my breath away, which doesn't happen so often. But it's really, it's a tremendous, tremendous looking boat, and uh, it was a very exciting moment. Always with a new boat, there's quite a lot of, of uh, concern about systems and how things will operate. Uh, we have had three motoring trials, all of which have been quite successful, good result. And two sailing trials, uh, the second one just yesterday, where we had, when we had the, the owner on board and quite a lot of wind, and the boat performed really very well and moved very easily, uh, really quite exciting performance I think and and uh, I think we're off to a good start that way. The whole process was was fun and it was fun because it's a great yard, a great yard, good design, uh, a good team around the project and it was all fun but actually to see the boat sailing in the water and to talk to Mr. Hines now he's on board the boat uh, were, uh, sailing in in, um, in Norway, and to hear the enthusiasm in his voice and and understand the pleasure that the boat is giving him and his guests, I think it's yeah, it's the best.